although it has a legal meaning, to summarize it, it goes a little something like this. She wasn't my relative. She didn't have to, but she did. Mm -hmm. Amen, baby. And for my brother, Keith, <laughs> this summarizes, if you will, the life that we have. You see, when we were little boys, and I'm sure if you know Bessie, maybe you know us anyway, but I'm gonna tell you. When we were little boys, and our mother was looking for another way of life, joining with Willie, we needed a place to go. And although she wasn't our relative, she didn't have to, no. Come on. but she did. Yeah. <laughs> and so it was Keith and Kevin at 445 Woodrow Street, and everybody knew it. Yeah. Everybody knew that. And we were there until mama came for us. And she didn't hold on to us. She let us go. And so upon our return back home from California, you know, we still go wandering around the neighborhood. And we were looking for some cookies. <laughs> ourselves and we knew we could go to 445 Woodrow Street and we knock at the door and although she wasn't our relative she didn't have to but she did and we enjoyed those cookies that day <laughs> and uh, many other days like them until we roughly got about 16 years old. And it was at that particular age we were ready to get our driver's license. You remember, Corey? Huh? <laughs> of course, when we turned 16, mama, 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 we ready to go get our driver's license. Oh, boy, I'm going to get the driver's license. Said my mom. But she was a police officer at the time, and her occupation didn't allow her the opportunities to be able to do those things in which she knew we needed to do. Her life was one in which entailed us. But we knew that some, we went to 445 Woodrow Street. <laughs> And although we were not her relatives, she didn't have to, but she did. And our driver's license was obtained driving her car. When we were 18 years old, more specifically myself, I needed a way to get to the prom like any other senior in high school. And at that time, there she was with an opportunity. And I went to, I went to mama. I said, mama, I need, a, I need a car so I can go to the prom. Now she was watching over Daddy Willie at the time. And she couldn't keep her car with her. She wasn't my relative, but she did. And I drove her car to the prom. I went off into the service. 
And while at the war, sitting inside of a hangar, bombed out, I had the capability of being able to call back home. And I tried to call my mom, but you know, my mom was a police officer. She wasn't in at the time. But everybody knows that you can dial 868-0611. For it's been the number I've known all my life. And I called it. And I want to say, Ron, you didn't have to put the message machine there. But when he put the message machine there, it allowed me to be able to call in and say, this is Kevin. And she heard it. <coughs> she didn't have to answer the phone. <coughs> she wasn't my relative, but she did. <laughs> and it allowed me the opportunity to quell her heart about her baby. And I went on to tell her that your baby's going to be all right. So it's throughout my life that I want to say with great pride and joy that although you are not my relative, I don't have to, but I want to thank God yeah. Yeah. you have earned the right to be called mama. Amen. You've earned it. Amen. And so it is with great joy that I want to say that I don't know where I would have been in my life without you. But one thing is for sure, I am the man that I am today because of you. Amen. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Amen, baby. Amen. 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 Amen.